<clears throat> um, <laughs> that's Kevin Hart address. That's you know what I love seeing is I like man. It is um, it's probably cliche to say this, but it's it's so it's just stunning to to get traces of what people were doing during COVID, and you see it in a in a good way when you watch. Um, like fights and stuff without the without the commentary and without the audience and you hear the impact of the punches. You remember those? You ever see that? Okay. Can like, you look like up like street fights or UFC no. fights? Look up boxing without audience during Whoa. COVID on YouTube. But this this feels like it was 30 years ago, man. This is what punches from heavyweight boxers sound like. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that before. Oh, God. I, the hardest punch I've ever heard was from a girl. Mm. I was at a boxing match, like a low-end one, mm -hmm. and this fucking broad just rocked this other broad, and I was like right front center. And it was like, ha, 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 pop. Like, and yeah. fucking the girl just like dropped, and I was like, oh, my God. It's got a scary sound to yeah, it. Never boxing ever. Can you look up MMA without fans? Oh, you mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like during I, COVID, I remember. Okay, now yeah, I know exactly. Okay, okay, okay. Getting little little remnants of this type of stuff. Um, yeah, the right there, coldest oh knockouts. God. Ugh. Did he get him in the ribs and knock him out? Don't know. What the fuck? Look at this guy. He looks like a human. He looks like someone bought him. <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell you. You look like you would buy a guy. It's Tur <laughs> Turkish health tourism. You yeah. go get that guy. How much for him? I it's, want to buy him. I like that his feet are crossed. I, I like that an Asian that. guy finally won a UFC fight. <laughs> guy's Mongolian or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Asians can fight. No, I know, but they don't win too often. They're they're their well, win rate is low. Well, they they're not in the UFC that often, but they they win in uh, Bellator and uh, one sometimes. I think. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. I'm truly not trying to like knock it, but like they're when they come to the UFC. It's not a good bet to well, bet on the Asian guy. Yeah, but I think that might that also might be a um, like a third world thing. Like people, people are always like, "Oh, you go tr if you go train in Thailand, those guys are tough motherfuckers, dude." Yeah, and then they come in the UFC and they just get their ass whooped. They get eaten with a fork and knife. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think this is because Americans are better, just just because they're Americans. I don't think it's I don't necessarily think it's a genetic thing, because there there are Japanese people who are real strong and there are Chinese people. You don't think it's bone density? I mean, there's bone, there's bone density, but these, it's, I think it's third world shit. Yeah. I think it's just that nobody, it, it, for the time being, nobody's as good as Americans. Yeah. Because of McDonald's chicken nuggets, which is what Usain Bolt ate when he was in the Chinese Olympics. Did you know that? Really? Hundreds of them only. Did you, you say that? No, I, I, I didn't know Usain that. Usain Bolt, when he went to China, because his, I guess he, either him or his team, didn't trust the food locally. Yep, I wouldn't. All he ate was McDonald's chicken nuggets. Wow. Hundreds and hundreds of them. Yeah. Usain Bolt, though, has, from a sprinter and a runner standpoint, has incredible physical, like his shins and his thigh bones are long. Sure, yeah. Like he's got like, like Michael Phelps, when you look at him. Yeah. No shit he's smoking everybody. Yeah, like, look yeah. at him. Like swimmers look like me. You know, like I would just me. I would just say that when it comes to fighting, those styles make fights, which is what people say that that means that um, if you have a even if you are like a huge gen genetically advantaged guy, mm -hmm. there are styles that can beat your style. Yes, and it, and it, and it comes from a weird like um, Mark Hunt. There are guys that yeah. look like they yeah. shouldn't be necessarily beating up guys that look like action figures, yeah. and then and then a lot of, the, there are, are more than enough examples of guys that look like action figures just fading in fights. Yeah. And, and um, Mark Hunt comes from that bloodline, though, those. Fading, fading like they're, like it's a, a child or something. Did you watch that, um, who's that guy, Bekele, the new big Nick dude? Look the up uh, Bekele Boxer. Like, you just spelled just like that, just type Boxer afterwards. He's just like a big, chunky, Nigerian dude, and he fights this guy that looks like an action figure, and he makes him look like a, uh, like yeah. a, like a teenager, like Anthony Ruiz. Yes, I love Anthony exactly. Ruiz. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, bum, 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 bum. he's smiling. He's like, yes, he fights. So I don't, so I don't know, I don't know what it is, but I, I do know that, um, just from from grappling, doing jujitsu with Asians, there are there are guys who have like strange strength that you wouldn't necessarily expect. Yeah, and it's got something to do with the geometry of their geometry of their body. It's not, it's not as simple as fast twitch versus slow twitch no, it's also right. like 
every most most of the most of the levers in the so you know when you're jacking up a car and you're like putting a little bit of force but it's lifting up this heavy car yeah that's angles that's and either a, that's either a first or a second class lever which is where the the torque that you apply gets multiplied by the fulcrum the levers in the body are the opposite because the force point is like right here the fulcrum is right here and then the lever arm is out here so you you have to apply a ton of torque but what it does is it multiplies the speed which is why it's um when they're talking about how tall guys when tall guys lift they lift less weight because they have a higher range of motion they have to move more that's not true it's because it's because they're at a mechanical disadvantage because the um all those levers are third class levers so they have to apply way more torque in order to mm. in order to express torque um that means if the machines were centered around six foot three people they would look different <clears throat> yeah like angles would be different yeah yeah we'd be operating at like 15 and 17 or something i don't know what they and would there's be. like a there's a there's a sweet spot for everything like throwing yeah. a baseball throwing a baseball you want to have you want to be lanky have long long limbs but not too long same thing with boxing if you're if your arms are too long <clears throat> then you can get like out wrestled by a guy with with more who's like a tyson who's kind of stockier yeah. yeah right so um anyway well, uh, look, i mean look i 